Good afternoon everybody, welcome to my art room. I'm Julie Cube and I'm from the I'm working and living at Sunshine Coast uh, Queensland in Australia. Going to pour um, I'm going to do a, another test today with gold and silver um, to see yeah I'm just gonna see the difference with a gold between a gold and a silver swipe on uh, a different colour so I will without further ado I'm gonna I'm using some colours up so that's why it's good to experiment um, while I'm you know and use the colours that I already have made up so all the colours I'm using today are the uh, Montmartre Studio Acrylics and I'm using my pouring medium is the 7030 mix of the clear PVA. The stockist uh, links to my stockist is below, and there's also links there for other countries, uh, the US and Canada. So, this is the Montmartre Purple. Just have a little bit of this left, or I might have a little bit more. I'm not sure if I've got some more in another cup there. So it's always interesting to um, see what other people's swipe colours come out like because then when you're doing it yourself, you'll think, well, I like the silver or you like the gold better. It's just doing, um, just doing something different with the swipe colours to see if they actually make a difference because all of the paints were mixed, mixed up the same. <clears throat> so you'll just see if this actually makes a difference. This was a bit of a custom colour that I had started with cerulean blue and added uh, phalo blue I believe if I remember correctly. So these paints have been made up about three days now. If you know, um, if you follow my pouring video you'll know that I always make up my paints quite a few days ahead um, or at least at least 24 hours ahead. I, I just find that they work out better for me doing it like that. So I'll finish up these colours. Seems a bit uneven there. Yeah, it is important that you get your table or your surface that your canvas is on even so as your paint don't slip one way or the other. Okay, I've got this real dark keeping it quite dark so I'm hoping it will show the gold or silver will show up against the dark colours. This was another, it was the um, one of the new colours crimson and then I added the a blob of black and a blob of the phalo blue. It was to make it go a real dark cherry but I think it's almost sent it way black. <laughs> it's very dark so I'll keep those I'll keep the very dark colour on the very edge, maybe. I don't want that to overtake the whole of the painting, so I'll keep that to the edge. Where we go? Okay, I'm going to put a viridian, viridian in there. So I'll... This is a lovely, this is one of the new colours from Montmartre, the Viridian, it's beautiful, really lovely, I like it. So yes, they've got some new colour range and um, I think one lady, um, one lady, I'm sorry I can't remember your name, she sent me a copy of an email that she got from Montmartre, this was for UK customers, because she wanted to know when the new colours were coming out in the UK and also when would the UK get the um, the clear the clear, oh, where's it gone? the clear PVA um, and they've told, I think it's about mid June, July time so the new colours come out so they will be in United Kingdom and Europe so uh, you're not going to miss out 
Okay, I will go the uh, phalo blue. Try and keep trying to keep it kind of even colors so she you know can see that they're the same on both sides. The colors are layered similar, sim similar. Is it similar or similar? Similar, both sides. I hope you're all going really well and keeping safe. Um, and if you keep calm and do the right thing, stay inside, isolate, just be sensible when you're buying the food, then we're all, we really will get through this together, I do believe, absolutely. Okie doke. Do I want to put a bit more purple? This is a, st uh, okay, purple, and I, okay, so this is the dark purple, and I added a bit of red, but it didn't make that much difference if you look at that beside that one. It is, it is actually a different, slightly different shade, but it didn't make too much of a difference. I know some people say, oh, and I watch you put those colours down, I'm just cringe and, but, you know, keep watching because I'm sure it's going to come out beautiful. Pretty confident, aren't I? Probably should, shouldn't be so confident. No, I won't go that one again. I don't know whether to, I might just add, this was magenta, but it's kind of like a real cool red. Um, this is another one of their new colours in the Montmartre. They were out already in the USA, uh, but not in Australia. So I have the Australian uh, link below for the online Capriol Chubby Chic. And they are still business as usual. And you get your paints now while they've still got lots. Because I'm obviously um, not sure there's much going to be coming from China for a while and some of the paints are obviously made there where wow. they're probably that is probably not a color mix I would normally put together by any stretch of the imagination but I'm just trying this for the silver and gold swipe so I'm going to put some just the white into it Might start off with a bit of white down there. Centre to trying to keep that track down there for the swipe colours, the gold and the silver. Wow. No, I wouldn't normally put those colours together, so um this'll be a surprise for me even to see if they turn out. I'm just going to open the window, I've got no air. <laughs> I feel as though I'm stifling in here. I haven't put my air conditioner on because the temperature did drop quite considerably today. Um, but now it's very kind of warm and sticky. So I'm just going to do that both ends, just gently tilting but trying to keep the paint in those kind of ribbon lines just for the sake of this particular test. The thing is, if these colours come out absolutely stunning together, which I wouldn't normally put these together, then it, at least I've got the video reference to go back and look at. Uh, it's just gentle tilt and then tilt it back so you sort of... Um, not got your paint all at one particular end and not the other. So, 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 here's the big test. I do hope you're all keeping busy and creating because it, it passes the time while we're home and it also, it's really good to be creating. It's therapeutic and yeah, it's, it's just a really good thing. I'm gonna put the silver. Start with the silver, silver swipe. Here we go. Gotta put my, I use a soft, soft plastic file divider for my swipey tool, or one of them. 
I've got I've just put some of this roll here to wipe my swipe sheet oh hang on that wasn't I'm dipping in that white to swipe I want to dip in the silver so the silver's here and I've probably got too much silver on but let's just do it so the silver is metallic so it will give the paint this lovely oh it's already doing it giving it a lovely sheeny shine wow oh look at those coming up already <laughs> that is interesting interesting all of my paint i've got the recipe below tells you how i mix my paint and what i mix into it and the ratios so just look underneath the descriptions box and underneath of this video and it will tell you all the answers to any questions you may have wow I just love that already because I just love the sheen over it from the silver the new silver that's come out is really quite nice it's got like a little I think like a little bit of a bluey tone tinge to it it's uh, gorgeous anyway anyhow this is the gorgeous glistening gold it is a really lovely gold that Montmartre bought out I really love it so we'll put this on next I might have to pour that a bit because I've got a bit of a bit of a gap there but it doesn't mean that I can't sort of sway it about to alrighty alrighty okay keep calm and what is it isolate stay safe and create completely different looks but oh, gorgeous I know already I'm gonna love this ah what am I doing that's doesn't matter that end will fix it up I should have turned it around because um so I've got more space down this end to swipe it off oh my goodness look at that they were almost identical colors laid out but look you can just see what's coming up already Oh, I always go so excited with these different colour swipes and just different. You can swipe every day of the week and they will all turn out different. So rewarding. But look, both my gold and silver were mixed with the... Um, I just, I pre-mix this in these bottles at 70% of the glue and I add 30% warm water and give it a real good shake so I've got you know loads of bottles pre-mixed I sort of stand there and do a few hours of mixing my glues up so they're all ready for the next week or so and um, so that's each one of the gold and the silver both had uh, just I just poured in my pouring medium into the gold and silver until I just got the consistency I don't measure it because each top each particular paint even the same brand comes out different so with gold and silver I keep them quite thick because they're metallics metallics seem to sink so I always keep my metallics quite thick as you see for this it's floating over the top of those colors beautifully but it's given a completely different reaction to the paint that's sort of laced up um that side hasn't i'm going to use my heat one just started pouring down with rain this is crazy weather we're getting just started pouring okay my heat one now i'm just hoping it it stays alive for a I dropped it the other day and then stood on it without realizing but it's still going it's not actually cracked but I quickly got onto the supplier and said have you got any more please send me one so I'm having another one come this is my wonder wand or magic wand or, I love it I'll start just down the center I'm not expecting them because that's where I've got the thick paint 
just heat your paint slowly and let the magic happen. That's pretty amazing how completely different that is. Oh, look at that. Look at that dark purple coming up in that. That's the bomb. It just looks so... It just pops. That purple just pops. And out of the silver side too. Wow, I love it. That's a little bit different. My goodness. Wow, that looks, that is pretty amazing. Look at this, and the gold, silver side, silver side, gold side. Wow, completely different. And as you've seen, the colors were laid almost identical as I could get. Obviously, to finish this off, I want something through the middle. So I just might let leave that to, um, do its thing I don't know what I'll just try a balloon in the centre haven't, haven't got a nice big balloon blown up but I, I suppose I could but I'll just use this small one for a minute just see it probably won't because there's no, not much colour there I'll do it like this shape like the egg shape see, see what goes <laughs> look at this Maybe I'll turn it round then so I'll get the colour on the other side too. <laughs> Still looks the same. It just looks like little bows stitched together down the centre. So, wow, wow, wow. I am. Um, I wasn't, I truly wasn't expecting that the, between the gold and silver it would make the cells of paint cre uh, react so differently got these little champagne bubbles it really looks like something under the sea doesn't it a mystical garden underneath the sea okay I'll let you decide guys silver and gold swipe there you go it's just made that look oh, it's quite stunning I absolutely love it I think you know it looks nice with the um, this will further develop so what I will do is I will take photos when it's um, the cells have all developed and if I decide to do any balloon embellishment then there'll definitely be the photos of the bonus bits at the end of the video but thank you so much for joining me let me know what you think do you like the gold side or do you like the silver side silver side okay there you go but yes yeah. The gold is, oh, they're both, they're both beautiful in their own way. But yes, thank you for joining me. Um, I will be back soon and hope that you all join me. And thanks for subscribing if you have. And if you haven't, please do so. It's free. I don't charge or ask for anything. Um, so until next time, take care, people. Bye for now.